Big day, guys. Big day in the eFetal industry. Look, this is day eight of our eFetal challenge. Day eight of 365 days. Now, I do apologize. I'm not in my original surroundings, but look, I thought there's no better time than just jump on. I was watching a football day. Just jump on and create a video around this very, very hot topic at the moment. Archer Aviation today have broken the world when it comes to an announcement. An announcement we thought was only Joby Aviations to have. We're going to break down what exactly has happened with NVIDIA, what this sort of tells us about Joby Aviation as well. We can compare the two announcements and sort of see where NVIDIA fit in this whole scenario. But look, before we get into it, do smash that like button. We all grow and I want 150 likes, 150 likes sounds quite good and also smash that subscribe button. We are doing this 365 day challenge. We're what, 29 away from 4,000 subscribers. Can't thank you enough. All you guys let me know as soon as this news dropped. But yeah, if you see me looking down, I do have my laptop in front of me here because I actually, I want to dive through it with you real time. What I'm talking about, guys, what we have here, we have Archer speaking at that CES conference, and there was an announcement made that Archer had to build the next wave of aviation AI technology with NVIDIA IGX4. And what is that IGX4 platform? Well, if we remember Joby all the way back in, was it October? Yes, October 28th, they announced they had the collaboration with NVIDIA. And they specifically said they are the only aviation launch partner for the new NVIDIA IGX4 platform. Now, when I first initially broke this news broke, I thought, okay, so Joby, and I need to deep dive where I seen it, where it said they were exclusive, but in my head, they're exclusive. Look, I can't blame Joby for this, but I thought, NVIDIA IGX4 was only being used by Joby Aviation. So I actually done a comparison between Joby's IGX4 platform for the Superpilot, which is their AI, versus Archer's SkyGrid, which is basically Boeing's technology they use with WISC. So yeah, it did confuse me a little bit when Archer Aviation came out and said, look, we're going using IGX4 platform too. But there's something very interesting in this release that I don't think anyone, not even Joby investors, thought that Archer would pull this one out of the bag. So getting into it, they'd said they had announced plans to develop and deploy next generation AI for aviation using this platform. The interesting part is, so we all know that Archer recently acquired Hawthorne, and this is going to be the central hub to the LA project that Archer have going on. So we know they're partnered with the Olympics, but there is a very deep collaboration with LA as a city. That is going to be their central basis for business as we roll out into this industry. But this is where it gets very interesting. So NVIDIA as a company and Archer as a company have been working together since early 2025. We're in 26 now, early 25. So when Joby announced their, they're the only aerospace launch partner with IGX4, yes, they were the only one that were announced as the launch of the IGX4, but Archer were already speaking to them. Archer already have some plans in place while Joby was pushing this out. I'm not saying Joby didn't. Hold up, guys, this is day eight. You know what to do, smash that subscribe button pretty early on. And also, you know what, smash that like button. You're getting very good at growing this. If you're in this project, if you've been here all the time, smash that like button. If you've been here just for the first time, double smash that like button. Right, let's get back to the video. But we were led to believe that Joby got there first, but it didn't. Archer plans in a great <laughs> NVIDIA's IGX4 the company's most powerful safety-capable AI computing module into future integrations of its aircraft programs. IGX4 is built to enable high reliability, real-time onboard computing for safety-critical environments, support 
advanced perception, decision making and predictive operations. Now look, if we think we have NVIDIA here, we also have Palantir here, we have Andro here, and then we have the back of like United Airlines, Stellantis, which we spoke about yesterday, who have just opt by 10 million shares. This is starting to be quite a big portfolio they have. So let's look at the three core areas they put out in their press release. So they said it's going to enhance pilot safety and predictive awareness. It's going to be seamless airspace integration. So they're developing AI systems that help to bring current airspace management systems into the 21st century, allowing aircraft to safely integrate into today's complex aerospace, including improved routing logic and dynamic traffic aware flight planning. And this is where it's going to fit in quite beautifully with the Palantir partnership. We all know the Palantir partnership is all built around this autonomous space and this whole integrating Archer's technology and streamlining it for the whole aerospace industry. I think an NVIDIA Archer Palantir collaboration is going to excel this whole industry forward. And then autonomy ready flight controls. Pairing NVIDIA's IGX4 with Archer's proprietary avionics and control software to build the next generation computing architecture capable of supporting future autonomous and semi-autonomous operations. Look, we're now at the stage where we're getting piloted tests by both the S4 and the Midnight. And this is where they're starting to look at semi-automated because it's going to start with semi-automated jobs and then go for fully autonomous. Joe Ben, Joby CEO, reckons within the next five years, on his recent earnings call, he believes in the next five years they'll be flying autonomously. And we all know how quick AI is taken off. But guys, do you think that Joby's announcement was a little bit not misleading. I'm not going to say Joby were misleading, but did we interpret it wrong? Did we think that NVIDIA was only working with Joby Aviation? Whether that's Joby Aviation's fault or whether that's us as naive investors, was that our fault? And are you quite happy that Archer have got in there too? And then Joby investors, how do you feel about this? Did you think Archer were going to be working with NVIDIA long before Joby announced their plans to work with NVIDIA. It did surprise me, but comparing it to Joby's announcement in October 28th, they were looking for autonomous mission management, radar and perception processing, sensor fusion, predictive system health monitoring, and digital twin modeling. It's all very similar to what Archer are looking for, so it looks like an identical partnership between the two. Guys, do let me know what you think about NVIDIA working with the two giants. What are you more bullish on? Look, there's going to be a lot of controversy around this. But you know what? We love controversy in this EV tool industry. Smash the subscribe on the way out, and we'll see you tomorrow.